Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the John Deere 824K-2 walkthrough and how-to of the uh, Deere loader and how to operate a loader from what I know, uh, just operating it as a job. I never went to school, but I'll show you just what I've learned on the job site, what I know about it. Uh, we're doing a little walkthrough here. Those are uh, grease fuel lines. This one's really nice. You see that reservoir, that black tank to the left? It uh, automatically greases all the fuel lines. Here's the bucket linkages, joints, hydraulic system, pushing and pulling on the bucket. Okay, see this flat part right here in front of me? Keep that parallel to the ground as you put your bucket down to keep a flat bucket. Okay, that point at the beginning of the bucket there on the bottom, put that down and pull back and you'll pull material back. Keep that bucket forward and you won't pull but you'll back drag and uh, flatten the area. That keeps for a nice drivable area as you operate. Okay, this with my left hand is your forward and backwards shifter your blinker, this on my left foot, adjust the steering wheel, up and down, left foot clutch and brake, brake, gas, that is the load right scale, loading trucks, filling power screens, there's another instrument uh, cluster, your fuel, fuel gauge, def, Here's your right and left joysticks. Here's your instrument panel. I'll go over from the top left to the right and on down. Go engine start, ignition on, engine off, ignition off. Be beacon, hazards, pilot enable, boom down. Parking brake, return to dig, automatic transmission, ride control, clutch cutoff, boom height, kick out, return to carry, auto diff lock, spin control, pin disconnect, air conditioner, uh, heated side mirror, front windshield washer and wiper, drive lights, lock up torque converter, rear axle disconnect, rear windshield washer and wiper, and work lights. Okay, and here is the air conditioning control heat and how fast it blows. Here's all the things I listed off. Hopefully you have one in your loader. If not, you can use my list. Here's your left joystick. You can use your horn. That's your parking brake, or no, that engages that, which is nice that you can use the steering wheel and that at the same time. Your hand gets, this is your left hand. Your left hand gets sore using the joystick. You can use the steering wheel at the same time. You can quickly go back and forth without having to, you can just keep it down this is my right hand actually, but it's showing as my left hand. This is uh, boom up. It's gonna be your right stick. The other stick pushes that forward, dumps, lifts up. That's gonna be your left stick, pulling back on your left stick, putting down on your right stick. This is my left hand again, but it just shows as, uh, as that. Okay, we're gonna dig into a pile here. Put the bucket down, parallel that one part that I showed in the beginning. Push on the gas, pull up on the right stick towards you, curl up towards you with the left stick, towards you with the right stick, all while pushing the gas and digging into the pile. Reverse back with your left joystick. Here's what it looks like, our point of view. Reverse back. Okay, see that pot spot where I just went into? Now, if you really want to get a better, uh, bigger bucket, you really want to uh, find these fluffy spots. Don't keep digging into that safe spot. Find a corner, find that. See how it's fluffing down like that? That's how you get good, big buckets that can be efficient with your time. Look at that bucket.
all right? This is how you clean an area. Put the bucket down, parallel with that one spot. You'll feel it as you touch the ground. Push down on the right stick, away from you, and you can clean an area, getting rid of potholes that you may have created, making life a lot better. This is a back drag. Put the bucket down. Push down away from you on the right stick to push down. Push away from you with the left stick and feather that as you come up. If you don't feather it, you'll leave a big old chunk of dirt and a big old speed bump to break your back on that. You don't want that. That's pulling towards you with the right stick is up. Pull towards you with the right stick and push the gas. Hold the clutch. You can come up really quick. Here's another back drag. This is uh, how to pull, pull dirt with you. If you pull in dirt, you can pull dirt by leaving that front end of the bucket like digging into the ground. If you don't want to pull dirt with you, push forward on the left stick so the uh, bucket tilts forward a little bit and you won't take as much dirt with you. It's kind of two different tools. Now here I'm back dragging. Look at my front wheels. They're off the ground. This is how you really back drag a spot and pull some dirt and really push down on some material and pack it in. Depends on what you want to do. This is a buck up. See, so I'm driving into the pile. I have a full bucket. Now this material is kind of soft, but you can really climb up that thing and push that material up. I dug a little hole for myself, so I'm going to take some of that material and back drag it and fill in that hole. It'll make life really hard for you if you keep having to drive into that hole every time. So that's how you fix it. Clean the area. Drive in. Keep pushing the gas. Buck it up. Pull that material up. If you're in first gear, you can climb that pile almost to the butt of the uh, back of the loader is touching the ground. That's pretty much it. Oh, here's a safety thing. Three points of connection, four limbs, leg, 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 arm, whatever. Wear your hard hat. Thanks for watching.